Hello students, myself Alpris Tesia from Electronics and Communication Department. Today we are going to learn about introduction of the subject antenna and wave propagation. In this video, we are going to learn about the some content of the antenna and wave propagation subject. Let's see what are the contents about the subject. What is the antenna? What is the wave propagation? where the antenna are used, that means the application of the antenna. Let's see it one by one. The antenna and wave propagation subject is basically divided into two parts. First is antenna and second is wave propagation. And combinedly it is formed the subject antenna and wave propagation. What will we study in this antenna and wave propagation? So let's see one by one. First that is antenna part. In antenna part, we will study about the EM wave generation, types of the antenna, its construction, working, advantages, disadvantages and applications. In wave propagation part, we will study about the types of wave and the types of propagation. That means how the wave propagate, either in space or in the ground. Now, when we heard the word antenna, we have a clear picture in our mind that is some old TV antenna on our terrace like this shown in the figure. But if we list out the application of the antenna, it is play very important role in our daily life. So what is the antenna? The illustration shows one person is talking to the another person. So the person is talking, it is transmitting the sound wave to the another person. And when our both are talking for a short distance, they are transmitting sound waves to each other. But for a longer distance, when we want to communicate, we have to convert these sound waves into the electromagnetic wave. Now, how we can convert it? So the device which converts these sound waves into the electromagnetic wave, it is called the antenna. Now, what is the exact definition of the antenna? The device which converts the electric signal into the electromagnetic wave, it is called the antenna. It is a transducer. Yes, the transducer means the device which converts one form of energy into the another form. So, antenna is a transducer. Here, we can see that one antenna is transmitting the signal to the another antenna. So this is the transmitting antenna, this is the receiving antenna. Now what is this transmitting antenna and receiving antenna? As in the figure it is looked like a same. So the transmitting antenna is one which converts the electrical signal or electrical power into the electromagnetic wave. So here we have a transmitting antenna. A receiving antenna is one which converts the electromagnetic wave from the receiving beam to the electrical signals. So here we have a receiving antenna. So again it is look like a sim. So we can say that we can use the antenna for a transmitting as well as receiving. Yes, we can use the same antenna for the transmitting as well as the receiving antenna. Now, what are the types of antenna? So according to the structure, frequency range and mode of the application, we have a total three types of antenna in which we categorize them. First, that is the physical structure. In that, we have a wire antenna, aperture antenna, reflector antenna, lens antenna, micro stream and array antennas. So these are the according to the physical structure of the antenna. Second, that is according to the frequency range. So, according to the frequency range, it is the frequency ranges in which the antenna are operates. So, LF, MF, VHF, UHF, microwave, radio, these are the all are the frequency range in which antenna are used. So, according to that, we can also categorize the antenna. Third, that is the mode of the application. So how, what are the applications in which the antenna are used? So point to point applications, broadcasting applications, radar application and at last that is satellite. 
So these are the according to the mode of application. We can categorize the antenna. Transmitting and receiving antenna are on earth. There can be a multiple path for the communication. That means either we can transmit or propagate the wave using the electric and magnetic wave. So combined it is known as electromagnetic wave. From the figure we can say that the electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other. That is 90 degree to. That means the E and M field are both are at the 90 degree. Here the red color is showing the electric field and blue color is showing the magnetic field. There are different types of wave propagation as they can transmit and receive either from the ground or from the space. So according to that we can categorize radio wave propagation in different categories. The first category is the space wave and space wave is further divided into the sky wave and the reflected wave propagation. Radio wave Second category is the ground wave and ground wave is further divided into the two wave propagation that is the direct wave and the surface wave propagation. So this is the how we can categorize the radio wave propagation. Now before we see the application where the antenna are used, let's see some derivation of the electric field intensity. Now for the derivation of electric field intensity we need the ohm's law yes ohm's law as the antenna is a conducting material and when we apply a voltage source it will generate the current according to the applied voltage that means v proportional i as per the ohm's law then v proportional i is again simplified as v is equal to i r i is current and r is resistance now this equation is again we can derive in terms of the power that is P is equal to Vi. Now replace the V or I value with the Ohm's law equation. So we get the P is equal to V square by R. Now according to the density is given by the P is equal to Pt upon 4 pi R square. The P is the power density, Pt is transmitted power and 4 pi R square is the density of the transmitted antenna beam. Now if we compare the electromagnetic field, electric field is generated using the voltage and magnetic field is generated using the current. So we can say E is equal to ZH as V is equal to IR if we replace the V is equal to E and I is equal to H that is the electric field intensity and the H is the magnetic field intensity respectively. If we replace the V is equal to IR in terms of EM wave, we can get E is equal to ZH. So E is electric field intensity, Z is impedance and H is the magnetic field intensity. Now what is the value of Z? So Z is given by the equation under root of mu0 upon epsilon0. Here mu0 and epsilon0 are the constant mu0 is permeability and mu epsilon0 is the permittivity. So here is the constant value mu0 and the epsilon0. Now replace this constant value in the z equation we can get z is equal to under root of 144 pi square into 100 is equal to 120 pi is equal to 377 ohm. The field intensity of an isotropic source at a radial distance is given by yes isotropic antenna is one which having no losses and having a unidirectional radiation pattern so here we consider the isotropic antenna that's why we have written the isotropic source now we have derived the power equation in terms of ohm's law here we again derive the equation in terms of electric and magnetic field so p is equal to v square by r we replace the v with e P is equal to E square by Z. So now simplify this equation as E square is equal to P into Z. Now we have power density value and Z value. So replace the value of P and value of Z. So here by replacing the value we can get 
स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू पी टी अपॉन फोर पाई आर स्क्वायर इन टू थ्री सेवेंटी सेवन ओम ना अगेन सिंप्लीफाई दिस इक्वेशन वी कैन गेट स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू थर्टी पी टी अपॉन आर स्क्वायर नाउ रिमूव द स्क्वायर ऑफ द ई वी कैन गेट ई इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ऑफ थर्टी पी टी अपॉन आर स्क्वायर नाउ फ्रॉम द इक्वेशन वी कैन सी दैट द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी इज इनवर्सली प्रपोजनल टू द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द सोर्स एज आर स्क्वायर एज द बॉटम सो आर इज द रेडियल डिस्टेंस ऑफ द एंटेना एंड पी टी इज द ट्रांसमिटेड पावर एंड ई इज द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड सो हियर वी डिराइव द इक्वेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी इन टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रांसमिटेड पावर एंड रेडियल डिस्टेंस ऑफ द सोर्स नाउ let's see the some applications of the antenna where antenna are used first that is radio broadcast so here we can see the application image second navigation systems radio transmissions gps that is global positioning system satellite communication rfid rfid is the radio frequency identification RFID you can found in the various shopping mall where clothes or heavy item will attach with some tag which is removed at the time of billing then next is mobile communication remote sensing microwave automation networking internet and last it is defense so these are the various application where the antenna are used for the betterment of the life at last this is the some assignment for you first that is the what is the antenna then list the some various application of em generation that is the antenna applications and if you find devices around you which having the antenna then also list out that thing or you can attempt the quiz based on this video either scanning this qr code or the link given in the description total 10 question with 50% passing marks so must attempt the quiz to get aware what you learn from this video so see you in next video of the antenna and wave propagation if you like this video please 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 subscribe and like our youtube channel ljpec-ele and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get latest video update fast